you cannot win everybody over overnight True. and you shouldn't want to always show yourself and everybody should love you everybody cannot love you and in life or or in the way you conduct yourself your intent is as important as what your actions are to be honest with you it used to really bother me till very recently i had a meeting with somebody as recently as maybe 3 or 4 months ago and uh, somebody was narrating a story to me for a, a prospect of at the prospect of doing a film with this person and uh, this person very honestly told me uh, what a lot of people in the industry think of me because i speak a certain way and i'm sitting opposite this dude like <laughs> are you serious bro like it's Painful. not even just a an, a language thing i think people just perceive me to be a bit uppity or snobbish or i don't know what it is that they used to they don't anymore because i've gotten to know a lot more people in the industry yeah but frankly if they're judging me based on how i speak and how i sit and how i cross my legs then that's on them it's it's very easy to sit and say that oh then i i can be fight. scared and there's a cat fight which they keep saying when pitting women against and women pehle wo van chahiye to main aaungi ha all that it, it's very easy to say that all these things could have happened You could be a hero or a villain in anybody's story, and it all depends on perception. Today, I have two human beings who have been heroes to me. Possibly, could have been villains in other uh, person's story or in film. We don't know. Uh, celebrating egg villain returns with two of the most gorgeous human beings ever, <laughs> Arjun Kapoor and Tara Sutaria. And this introduction has happened after two takes, so clearly <laughs> I have screwed it up. Hello, hello, guys. Hi, Naya. How are you, Arjun? I'm good, Nayan. What a lovely I, intro. I like that we are matching today. Yeah, I just said that when I saw yeah. you. Cute, you know? cute. It's looking cute. nice. Say I don't it. want to say. It's like never mind. I was going to say. Say, say, say. Do, do garden or a beach me. Kamal jo khel raha hai white color beach like that. It's a white <laughs> rose. It's a white Kamal. rose. It's a white rose. Kamal is saying. Nah, it's, it's a lotus. lotus. Kamal is lotus. Kamal is lotus. Yeah. Yes. He, you know, he has this very bad habit of. Um, Making fun of my Hindi. He oh. made me do a Hindi I'm, introduction. <laughs> where I really screwed it up. I have a lot of bad habits. Yes, no, but, that's true. But I want to ask. You know, um, I started off like that. You could actually be a hero or a villain in anybody's story. Yes. Um, does it reach to you when you feel like somebody is taking you as a villain in somebody's story? Does in reality? Reach? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if uh, it's as simple as today, if we are doing interviews in today, for example. I choose not to do your interview for may, maybe some other reason. Yeah. You might perceive me in the negative context, but True. I might have a, a reason. I might have an emergency. But now you cannot always expect everybody to understand. And if it is up to you, sometimes you can rectify it. But that is on you as a person. Yeah. If you come to know that somebody feels a certain way about you and it is not something that you intended, you can rectify it. If it is your intention that you want the other person to know and you're okay with it, then it's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's. In personal life, it's a little easier to understand. Film me, thoda we are we obviously go to the extremes. I think in real life, we don't do it intentionally more often than not. That is true. That that I agree. Tara, so far I don't think I'm aware of the fact that I've been a villain to anybody or in anybody's life. But um, obviously there are stressful days, and I feel like when you're stressed out or you're wrung out or you're worn out, you tend to show perhaps the worst side of yourself to people, which all of us have at some yeah. level. So human side also. School, no, like there's a most. I'm in the like, marketing world, in life, I'm a villain on the edge because I must be saying, "Ye karte, wo karte, aisa karte, wo karte." But I know that I'm doing it for the film, so it's fine. Yeah. I'll rectify it, but. The intent They, is always what's important. Yeah. No, you know, I'll tell you something. So, uh, when, when in, in a previous interview, I want to say that there was a lot of noise outside, and I know that you went and you actually told them after like multiple yeah. times, people from the team going and saying, "I genuinely felt," and I'm not saying it because I've seen that happen to you, especially in my head. I was like, "Oh my God, he has come out." I just hope it doesn't work against you because it has worked against yeah. you in a lot of yeah. cases. You know, he has been a victim of perception. Do you do you agree on that? Absolutely. I still am to some degree, but you cannot win everybody over overnight, True. and you shouldn't want to always show yourself. And everybody should love you. And everybody cannot love you, and in life or or in the way you conduct yourself, your intent is as important as what your actions are. If you are clean and safe, and you are doing something, somewhere or somewhere, that will come yeah. through. Yeah. Um, it's. I'll give you a small example. Uh, I was. Which the Mohit and Ekta said on the stage, I was offered Ek Villain. I couldn't do it at that point in time, and I, with all honesty and with pure intent, I said I won't be able to do it because I was doing my father's film. Ek Villain did really well. They were didn't pan out. I always wanted to work with Mohit Suri. He was yeah. in my wish list of directors. I ended up working with Mohit Suri on Half Girlfriend. It's not like life didn't give me that opportunity again. And 
the term in a film called villain has come back so i've been able to be part of villain again so at that point of time i must have done something that was i was a villain in somebody's story because i didn't do the film correct but niyat saaf thi intent saaf tha to wo ghoom phir ke wapas aa gaya perception ki baat kare to yaar aap tod nahi sakte you can't you don't need to bother you do your thing and if you're genuine and organic people will come to know that this is who i am um at the same time i i feel the perception is also more to do with the fact that i didn't make an effort earlier to put myself out there in the right way because i didn't feel it's important that the audience that watches my yeah. films should know now i feel i want to connect with that audience that that pays money to watch my film i want to regard i do not want to clear perceptions of people who don't matter but who will have perceptions anyway you know exactly yeah you can't Agar help it all virat kohli ke bare mein perception ban sakti hai trolling ho sakti hai to what are we i always say this you know people forget they're very short sighted so you can't get into it tara on the other hand you know mm, why of course uh, he is a dear friend of yours and he, we were just kidding but there is a, a section i don't know if it's in the industry or just outside they do make a different deal out of your proper english etiquette hmm. do you do you feel that is a perception that people have about you because you're righteous in ways but a hindi is terrific huh? just yeah, by the way yeah exactly um yeah no to be honest with you it used to really bother me till very recently i had a meeting with somebody as recently as maybe 3 or 4 months ago and uh, somebody was narrating a story to me for a, a prospect of at the pro- prospect of doing a film with this person and uh, this person very honestly told me uh, what a lot of people in the industry think of me because i speak a certain way and i'm sitting opposite this dude like <laughs> are you serious bro like are you for real right now you're judging a person by and then i was like actually you know what everybody judges at some level let it go because this is something i've heard since i did student of the year too and i yes i'm particular about how i speak because perhaps that's how i've been raised that's how what i enjoy i enjoy languages of all yeah all languages across the board i used to sing in italian i used to sing in french i love singing in hindi i'm singing in hindi in this film i absolutely love hindi as much as i love english and i try to speak very like saaf hindi i will never speak no you hindi sir bombay bandra hindi you know what i mean like yeah. i won't do that she doesn't have an accent or anything much yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like people obviously perceive me to be this acha, her um, english is so clean and she has she yeah. has a she has a way she talks english then her hindi must hindi be bad hindi must be bad which is not the case at all so if you she's not humko idhar jaane ko hai aur hamara mere ko jaane ka and all that i'm not going to speak like that so um but which, more importantly if you take a second out to actually know me you will know that I'm yes I'm particular about how I speak in, in English but I I respect all languages equally and I enjoy speaking in all Yeah languages. that's true that is And it's not true. even just a an, a language thing I think people just perceive me to be a bit uppity or snobbish or I don't know what it is that they used to they don't anymore because I've gotten to know a lot more people in the industry Yeah but frankly if they're judging me based on how I speak and how I sit and how I cross my legs then that's on them <laughs> It's been given a darker theme, which is, has, which is what makes it which different again. Which is today. Perfectly. Yeah. Which also, the setting of the movie is very much like that. Yeah. I feel like everybody is dark in this movie. Like eight years back, when when Tara was very young, when the first one came half. out, when the first <laughs> one came out, <laughs> when the first one came out eight That's years back. That's a joke back. for everyone who's watching it. No, they have. They have uh, now everybody has 4G. They can check on Wikipedia what okay. age. <laughs> okay. I love this banter, but I want to know how much has he pulled your leg on the set? You say how much I pulled your leg for? It was a give and take. Acha. It was a if I give one, she gives twenty-seven back. That's true. So that is how it really? was. Really? Yeah, unexpected I, but true. I did meet my match. Yeah, but I want true to me. ask you this: both of you, uh, although you've had like a few years in the business, but you've also done films where there have been ensemble cast. Yeah. Um, this is a huge ensemble, you know, and yeah. it becomes difficult if you have insecure actors around you, right? how important is it to have that sense of security because you know that you know even in an interview rohit sir had said that he wanted to make a movie like ram lakhan and people from this generation you were very ready to do it but there were many others who were not ready to do things like that. i think first you need to not be insecure yeah <coughs> it's very important aap kis tarah sochte ho you cannot have an expectation from people if you don't carry that yeah conduct onto a set if you create a sense of security as somebody who's part of a film or part of conversation if you create a sense if you get into the nitty gritties and you worry about certain things that are beyond important at that point of time agar aap comfortable nahi ho to you cannot expect other people to make you comfortable True. because you have to come with a mindset it's not easy i'm not saying it's everybody's cup of tea and it takes time and there is tremendous joy when films work in sharing the love 
if you are not in that phase in your life, uh, if you do not want to take it upon yourself that you want to share or you want to you want to be able to give, you need to be very giving at a time when you do an ensemble. You know, you cannot only be time to take yeah. Yeah. because the film will give you back. But you need to allow everybody their space. But that's a personality thing. You need to be in that phase of your life, and you need to have an inherent personality to do that also. I think you're so right about the inherent personality bit. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong if you don't have Absolutely. it. But then, yeah. then don't do it. You'll be miserable. Like you'll yeah. just be miserable. आप करो मत क्योंकि आपको पता है कि आप आप 50-50. You should never do an ensemble of film which has more actors yeah, exactly. around. Yeah, exactly. If you're not certain, you need to come in to embrace the journey. Like I'll be really honest with you. None of us on this film would have done this film. Uh, because I think I know all of us now at a certain like we all know each other at a certain yeah. level where we would have known if somebody felt that way, it could have it could have happened that way. Uh, most, yeah, it could have. Most films with a uh, multiple star Therefore, cast could go that way. Uh, everyone in this film is at a very different stage of their career, uh, barring of course Arjun, Arjun who's done like seventeen films and John who's like been around for like twenty years. You know, Disha and I are relatively yeah. newer in comparison to to them. But uh, Disha has done more work than I have. But it's it's very easy to sit and say that oh I, I can be scared fight. and there's a cat fight which they keep saying when pitting women against and women. And pehle wo van chahiye to main aungi. Ha, all that. It, it's very easy to say that all these things could have happened. But genuinely, I think we've been very. First of all, we have a very strong support system on the set. We also know exactly what our characters are about. True. Mohit makes sure that we do, and I think we've all played to our strengths and. We've all watched the film at different like times, and we've really enjoyed everybody's performance, which is pretty rare. I think, I, I think you have to take the onus upon yourself also to come. Like when I did Good Day, uh, Adi sir put Ranveer and me in the same room and told Ali to narrate it to us. I think that's a great starting. Yeah, point. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay? If you're not comfortable, you're saying it, and you you're hearing it together. When I did Booth Police, I knew I'm entering a zone where Saif Ali Khan is very, very good with comedy. I don't need to come in to try and get his lines off. Or I need to add more lines. Yeah. I need to make sure I do my part well, so his lines land. But then that's again a philosophy as an actor yeah. that I have that if I'm doing it, if I do Mubaraka, I Anil Kapoor se acha kam karna nahi chahta hu. I Anil Kapoor ke saath achhi yeah. comedy karna chahta hu. Yeah. I'm not coming in with. The, I am competitive, but not at the cost of my film. I am selfish, but not at the cost of making a better film. I think you as an actor need to come with that mindset, like I keep saying. And everybody realizes the value of it when it does well. Now today, I feel now more than ever, people are realizing the value of ensembles. I've been screaming and shouting for the last five, seven years. Yeah, I think I say it in every every chance I get. If actors don't come together and empower filmmakers by taking the load yeah. off, by allowing them bigger budgets, by allowing them that scale, in this film today, because four of us are there, the fact that we've done a fight in a metro, it's not that easy, you know, to have an action sequence, to have a bike chase, to have a We made up an entire set for the climax. Mm. Action is expensive. Having having this kind of a visual world is expensive. So as actors, if you come together, you can actually make cinematic films. And what is the Hindi film industry craving right absolutely. now? Absolutely, absolutely. The cinematic right, experience. Yeah. So the answer to our confusion about what the audience wants to see is actually they just want to see interesting faces do fun stuff, so they feel a sense of relatability yeah. and aspiration at the yeah, same time. Yeah. And mainstream work does need consolidate. Like yeah, today, for whatever is worth, Grey Man is coming. The Russo brothers are making a film with Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. I don't see any insecurity or a question being asked about who's playing what. They're having yeah. fun, and Anna the Armas is in in the film as well. Yeah. And you know that they will all have great roles. So yeah. Avengers, you look at. I mean, even so Hollywood has used that films. device. Yeah, so many of the When you look films. at the when you look at the films Christopher Nolan does. So even R R R. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, War, yeah, for example, so the, many, one, yeah, one War. of the biggest hits in the last couple of years has yeah. two men going after each other, and it's, it was called Rithik versus Tiger for yeah, the longest yeah. time, and and it and it works, right? You had fun watching it. I'm not saying that's the only thing, but that definitely elevates your film's range and scale and the making of it. We aspire to be better filmmakers. We don't end up working towards it collectively. That's the. That point. is true. You know, your movie is a lot about love, of course, but heartbreak and deceit, like betrayals. But I want to ask you that: How do you, in personal life, um, deal with deceit, betrayal? Um, professionally, personally, how do you how do you take it? I mean, I don't think anybody deals with deceit or betrayal well. No, uh, do you remember like the, the last time in? No, I mean, you, you you can still forgive, but you don't forget. I mean, you know, it's it's you cannot hold on to grudges and make yourself yeah. bitter about it. And that's on them what they do. I mean, there are various 
situations where we've all been betrayed and there has been deceit. Uh, it's part of any profession. But you can't let it fester and make you bitter because the thing is, it's such a small community, you're going to end up bumping or interacting and you don't want anybody to realize that they affect you so much. You have to be better and stronger than that. You have to deal with it yourself. That of course, but I also feel like you kind <coughs> of have to, it's very hard to, but you need to allow yourself the time to accept that you're feeling bitter. I think very often what we try to do is negate negative emotions and negative feelings. Oh yeah, once and you so, deal with it, then yeah, you can move on. I life. completely but, agree yeah. with you. Like you have to, you have to accept it. You have to understand what you're feeling, let it all out and then just let it go because otherwise it's going to fester. And in this industry and in this business more so, I think than a lot of businesses, it's very easy to let that take control of yourself and your being and it's best not to do that. Yeah. Thank you guys. Nice. <laughs> this is what he does to me guys. This is what Everybody, he does. Everybody Nayan, you're not alone. Nayan, this has I been your you. sh shortest and sharpest interview. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, because I have, the people are on my head. Ki khatam karo, khatam karo, khatam karo. But I do want to tell you that um, for you, I'll say that everything that happens to you, good or bad, um, it affects me personally a little bit, of course, because um, um, I do consider you a brother and everybody like on comments also say that I don't make a brother, I don't make a brother, I don't make a brother. You are a brother and yeah. I would like to uh, keep it to that. And you have been an amazing uh, source of support from the time that um, I know you. And you've always been lovely and sweet to me and warm to me. And I know that, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not a critic. So I watch a film and a trailer from an audience perspective. And I do feel that this movie is a masala entertainer which people will love and like you both in. So all the best for this thank and you. thank you for this and conversation. Uh, thank you, all jokes apart, please give love to people. This world is a very cruel place. The amount of love you spread, you must spread it. Yes. Just spread a little more love towards me, that's it. It's, Sabki chale apni thodi zyada chale. It's a jealous Kapoor. <laughs> no, it's, I don't want, I, I always say sabki pichare chale apni thodi zyada chale. I want more Tum, Kapoor. Tum sabko mm. pyaar karo. जब मैं आता हूँ तो मुझे थोड़ा सा और प्यार करो। But you should you should be the way you are and don't let any joke that I crack or any comment that comes change the way. Are you? Not that you're going to change, but absolutely. Thank you. Hi, this is Tara Sataria. Hi, this is Arjun Kapoor. And you're watching us on Bollywood. Bye.